والشمس تجري لمستقر لها ذلك تقدير العزيز العليم وآخرين مقرنين في الأصفاد Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. It is the 23rd day and last night was the 23rd night and uh, I'm sure uh, all of us who are paying attention this month closely would have uh, spent the night remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and reminding themselves of the divine guidance. Once again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is inviting human beings to reflect on the creation of the universe and understand physical laws. And he's telling us that those physical laws do not change. At the time of the creation of this universe, the physical universe specifically, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala embedded or programmed each and every physical reality with his laws and every thing that exists in this universe in physical sense follow the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the wahi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and is a state of prostration and ruku. What does it mean? It means that everything is following the divine guidance to the fullest without any rejection and without any hesitation. And that is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asking the believers to reflect on that there are physical laws that exist in this universe. And if we understand those physical laws, we also understand the wahi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is spread around us. And why is he asking us to do that? He is asking us to do that to reflect on the significance of the universal wahi in the physical sense and the significance of the wahi that is shared through the messengers in the form of the divine scriptures or in our case the Quran. How to relate both of them and how to make use best of both of them. And if it is in that particular context, the Prophet wasallam also told us that we must always be in a state of uh, giving, offering, or you know, helping others through charitable work. Uh, he says that even if you give half a date to someone, you are committing an act of charity, and that act of charity would save you from hellfire. In other words, would save you from torment. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله ولكم